this, this is my mind blown face because it, when I show you what the scan turned out like, you for a hundred bucks, you're not going to believe it. So I'll probably do this in the computer so that the resolution's a little bit better, but uh, just in case. Okay, the light here is on, so you know I've been filming something, and I just made a film for my members. Channel members got special access to a 3D scanning and how-to style video on how to make a flat part to uh, help us be more effective in keeping my airplane running. So I hope you channel members enjoyed that. Now we're gonna give some content to the good people. And it really starts with a story, as most of my videos do. Welcome. I was minding my business as I do really well, you know, like this. Just like this. And I pulled up my phone, I'm scrolling through my phone, Facebook Marketplace, because I'm always looking for a deal. When I look for a deal, I look for deals that have something to do with general aviation or my flying or my airplanes or my cars or my, my other hobbies. And I ran across an ad for a Creality Ferret SE. It's a 3D scanner. It's about a $200 3D scanner when it's brand new. And this guy was selling one for about 150 bucks brand new. He had just opened the box and realized he didn't have a computer to run it. He didn't have the know-how to take the scans and turn them into 3D models. And so he let it go for about 150 bucks. I offered him 100, he accepted. We met up, I gave him cash, walked away, and now I have this thing. I've even got the box for it and all of the documentation. 100 bucks for a 3D scanner. And I'm standing here in front of this airplane because today, we're gonna do some cool things with this thing, or I'm gonna try it out for the first time. I haven't scanned anything with this thing yet. I don't even know if it works, but we're gonna try scanning something, and I'm going to show you the utility of something that is this small. Now, disclaimer, not an AMP, not an IA, not an FAA person. I'm not even a professional CAD person. I just really enjoy doing this stuff and my previous life has given me the tools to do these types of projects and do them very well. So stick around. I'm gonna show you how this now $100 scanner, yeah, let's say $200 scanner, works and what we can do with it. You know, I swear sometimes the hardest part of the day is just moving things around. You gotta hold camera with one hand, hold the computer with the other hand. It becomes a little bit difficult, but I do this for you for you. All right, I'm just gonna open up a new scan, take the Creality Ferret SE, may close this hangar door. There's gonna be an airplane idling on APU power for a really long time, so give me a second. Okay, now I can hear myself think, let's use the Creality Scanner SE to try to scan the engine compartment or one half of the engine compartment. I don't need to do the whole thing. Maybe in the future I will, but it's gonna get hot in here really quick. And we don't like heat. Have you seen the tinting video? You should go watch that. Support the algorithm. <laughs> Let's put the light onto the engine. And then I'm gonna hit texture scan. And let's scan. Here we go. We're gonna start back over here where it can find itself. We've scanned this area before, so it needs to see a spot that it has seen before in order to start tracking again. There we go. This video has gone on much longer than I thought it would simply because I am blown away. This is only my second or third time using this particular 3D scanner. And it is doing a really, really nice job. Are cowling doors hard to find? Because if they are, I think I have just about enough data to make my own right now. Now the legalities of doing so are to be discussed or explored, but that's not the point of this video, nor is it the point of this channel. Okay. We have created a 3D model. Wow. 
Or am I missing stuff? Maybe I need to come around. Yeah, come around town here. All right, I think that's probably, probably good enough. I just wanted to show you that there's no movie magic here, that you, you watched me do this. And while it's not perfect yet, I can optimize this to be even better, but I have a great representation of my engine cowling now. Great representation. From here on out, I can refine that scan down to, let's say, a millimeter and a half of accuracy. And if I hit that button, it'll start processing and give me an even more detailed scan. It'll kick out any of these little dots that it thinks is bad. Some algorithm is doing that in the background. And then it'll keep the ones that it thinks are good. And then it'll give me an even closer mesh. Right now, if I zoomed in, I couldn't read the rocker covers that say Continental on them, but I'm sure when I refine this mesh, you'll be able to see that Continental just fine. My other 3D scanner, the Raptor, will do a much better job at the details because it's got a laser, uh, blue laser mode that'll do a much greater job at the details. But this little scanner right here, for a hundred bucks on Facebook Marketplace, or more like 200 bucks on Amazon or on the internet, I am incredibly impressed. What could we do with this? We could make a cowling cover, you know, we can draw it out, get the material cut out and stitch it together and make a cover for the cowling. You know, we could make a gill panel to go down in this little empty area at the bottom here. We can do a whole bunch of stuff. We could measure out the uh, baffles that need to be installed on the top of this cowling. Or, you know, I can just get off my lazy butt and install the cowling baffling set, uh, the DeShannon set that a uh, subscriber of the channel actually gifted to me. So, yeah, I, I am... I am so blown away right now at what we've been able to do on battery power on the laptop and just the USB-C cable to that scanner. That is so impressive. This, this is my mind blown face because it, when I show you what the scan turned out like, you're, for a hundred bucks, you're not gonna believe it. So I'll probably do this in the computer so that the resolution's a little bit better, but uh, just in case. Whoa. You can just make out the continental writing on the rocker covers like we were talking about. So yeah, that worked. But I can see where wires are being run and I could probably get better resolution than this too. But look at that. Look at that. But there's more. But wait, there's more. Look, I can click this little button right here and I've got the actual textures. No way. And it looks really, really good. Really, really good. I could use this as a teaching tool. I could use this to explain something to my A&P. I can do so many things with this thing. So, wow. I'd say the $100 3D scanner is a success. All right, it got way too hot to talk in the hangar, so I came out here just to get a little bit of fresh air and sunshine. You can see my bright and happy face. Happy face because we've just done something really incredible. We've used a cheap scanner, and by cheap, I mean really cheap, significantly cheap. 100 bucks, I'm not kidding. I'll show you the text messages here. Um, we've used that to create a 3D scan of my engine compartment that I can use for future projects or just share with the American Bonanza Society if they find these kind of tools useful. Maybe you might find them useful. So we've got a lot of things that we need to do, and a lot of work that we can complete now that we have that 3D scan and that 3D scanner. We're gonna make this airplane really decent, one step at a time. And we're gonna do so legally, and you're gonna be along for the journey. Thanks for tuning in. It means a whole bunch to me. Call your dad, he's got some great stories for you, and you really wanna learn as much from him as you can while you still have him around. Don't waste that time. Be good to yourself. If you need help, ask for help. We are all out here to help each other. And we'll catch you next time.